I'm doing some more experiment with different clocks and pendulums and starting to build a grasshopper escapement. It's looking good. Hey guys, Jacques here. I have the project of building a clock with a grasshopper escapement designed by John Harrison and this is my first try with the exact specification he set up. 120 teeth, so it's a 4 minute rotation, a large uh, swing, looking pretty good. Another thing I'm just experimenting, it's a compound pendulum. Total cycle is 4 seconds, so pretty slow. It's working quite good. I'll show you a close up. So, close up on the compound pendulum. Just trying to do a clock as simple as it can be. But I uh, had to put bearings here, there was way too, many, too much friction. And then in front I have some experiment with pendulums, one pendulum on the bearing, one pendulum here on the knife edge, and I have one pendulum here with a suspension on the piano wire. And this clock I have a knife edge suspension, works okay, I'm just trying other things, see if they work better. So the next one here have a pendulum on a bearing so on the right with the steel balls it's the one on the bearing and this one is on a piano wire it's a one millimeter piano wire and especially when it gets to the smaller angles then the bearing starts slowing down faster the one with the piano wire just keeps going weight on the bearing is pretty much not moving at all right now. The weight that's on the suspension spring has still a nice noticeable motion. The piano wire is kind of an experiment for the final pendulum that will come with this grasshopper ex escapement. John Harrison had a lot of science on how he designed and built his clock and a design based on his ideas was proven to be able to run with less than one second over a hundred day period. And that's the world record for an open air pendulum clock. Lots of people have been dismissing John Harrison design and the grasshopper escapement as a curiosity but seems there's a lot more that goes into his design and his design was not perfect but he used default in one area to compensate for default in an other area so looking at the clock in its whole it's a different story than just studying separate parts of the device so There'll be more coming on the Harrison clock and I'll put some links below, more information on Harrison, his design and where it goes from here. If you're interested in this, keep, com keep looking, <laughs> subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.